Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry for my voice. My sinuses are acting up right now, so please forgive me. But for today, I wanted to do a super quick video showing how I like to lay these edges, hunty. I got these two new products in from Grow Healthy, so I wanna show how I use them to go ahead and just slick these edges all the way down, get them in check and ready to say. So if you are interested, just continue to watch. All right, so as you can see right now, let me come up close. There is really nothing going on for my edges. I have not touched them since I washed my hair earlier. Um, I know my edges aren't necessarily, they're not too unruly, they're okay, they're well behaved, but sometimes I like to make them a little bit more defined. Um, maybe do like a funky design just to make my hair look a little bit different than it did yesterday, because you gotta get creative when you have a teeny weeny afro. So today I'm gonna be using the Grow Healthy Edge Control, which is called Smooth Edges. And they also have another really cool product called Color Edges, which is actually like the black form of an edge control. So I'm gonna be using both today to show you how they work and how I like to just define and slay and snatch these edges all the way. So first I'm going to start by dampening my edges. I just like to use my DIY Curl Refresher. If you've seen my other videos, you know what this is all about. It's pretty much just a mixture between conditioner, water, and a few drops of castor oil. The reason why I like to start with wet or damp edges is because the hair is just, to me, it's like a lot easier to manipulate when it's wet. So now I'm just grabbing the Smooth Edges Edge Control by Grow Healthy. This is the clear one. And I'm just gonna dip an old toothbrush into the product. Let me come a little closer. Okay, and then I'm just gonna start by brushing the hairs in a downward motion. Once I have everything brushed down, I'm just going to use my other finger to hold down and use the toothbrush to kind of guide the hairs into the design I want them. So I'm brushing downwards, holding down, and then swooping back with the toothbrush. So you can see the difference between here and here. This just look a little cuter, you know, a little more put together, ready to slay the day, you know. It just adds something to your look. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. So I actually really like this edge control because it's got like a really nice consistency to it. So it's like, it's stiff enough so you know it's gonna hold your edges, but I've had some edge controls that are like too stiff to where I couldn't even like manipulate my hair properly like the way I wanted to. So I actually really like the consistency. All right, so now I'm just gonna take it one step further with their color edges in the shade black. This is literally just meant to color your edges. I kind of like the idea of this because it can make your edges pop more. Like with, with a black, like I think it's gonna make it stand out a little bit more. Instead of using a brush, since we've already got some edge control on there, I'm just gonna dip my finger into this and then kind of just layer it on top. See, so do you see a difference there where this looks dark and then this kind of looks a bit faded? It just gives it like that extra that it needs. All right guys, so I promised it'd be super short and sweet. That's how I like to lay my edges when I'm ready for them to snatch people's wigs off. Um, I don't go for this look usually during the day. I kind of just go for something more natural, more chill. Um, but this is something that I would totally do for like a night out when these edges need to cut somebody. I really do enjoy these Grow Healthy products for your edges. It really gets them into control. Um, and I'm really actually excited about the Color Edges products. It does come in another color, brown. 
So if you are lighter than me and if you have hair that's lighter than me, then you could also opt for the brown instead if you think black is going to be too dark for you. I'll link all of the information to the products that I used today below so you can check that out. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!